Hello and welcome back to Tinglewinger 5. Today I'm going to take you through the process to upgrade to Windows 10. Now most of you will have the thing in the bottom right corner of your screen in the taskbar and when you open this up you get this. All you have to do is press download Windows 10 and depending on your download speed it'll take a little while. It's about 2 gigabytes, I believe and what it will do it will use the Windows update screen and start downloading Windows 10 itself. Alternatively, you can go to this website, I'll try and put a link in the description, and download the Windows 10 upgrade tool. Make sure you select the right version, select Pro or Pro N. Uh, if you select Pro N, I don't think that has the uh, Windows Media Player. But if you select the Windows Pro version or Windows 10 Home, whichever one matches up. Uh, that quick briefly was the specs of my laptop. It is not a new laptop. The laptop I'm upgrading is about six years old, so it's not the newest piece of hardware, but I still get the option to upgrade to Windows 10. So chances are most of your computers out there will be able to upgrade to Windows 10. When everything's finished downloading or you pressed upgrade through the Windows tool, you'll be presented with this screen. Your PC will restart several times, sit back and relax. Now, this part takes a while, a long while. I think it took the majority of the time, probably about 45 minutes, to get through all of this part uh, on his ancient laptop. So instead of uh, watching you watch the percentage go up, I've actually skipped forward a bit to the halfway mark. Uh, I was going to actually stream this uh, when I was doing it, but I couldn't get the software to work. Uh, and then I had a failure of Windows 7. Uh, so the computer that I'm on now editing this video uh, actually lost its operating system, which was wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Not Probably not Windows fault. I think I screwed up a driver installation, but that was my fault. But anyway, upgrading Windows, still uh, installing features and drivers, you can see in the bottom in the middle that it's what it's doing, and skipping forward again, even further to the end, I believe, I know it's just done a restart, so you'll see this icon come up, and even the first time I tried this, it failed, but what it did, it successfully rolled back to Windows 7, so if you've got an issue, it will roll back to Windows 7, and it won't screw your computer up. When it's done, you're presented with this bright blue screen, and presented with your username. Now what it did for me is it changed my keyboard to US keyboard. Now what that means is it moves a lot of the punctuation around on the keyboard. So I wasn't able to log in and I was very confused. But if you hold that button on the right where my mouse is, that'll display what your password looks like. So I was able to work it out. Majority of you will be able to use ex Express settings, but I'm going into Customize settings. So the majority of you press uh, Express there and you'll be away. I'm just going to go through all these, so personalise your speech, typing, sure, send typing link information to Microsoft, help produce it, uh, improve recognition, which is a good thing, and you've got the location, and let apps use your advertising ID, well, which is arguably a better one, I mean it's more tracking, but the advert should be more relevant to you. Smart screen filter, use page prediction to improve reading, connectivity and error reporting, so automatically connect suggested open hotspots, not all networks are secure, well that sh I should have disabled that if I haven't. Uh, automatically connect to networks shared by your contacts, Can't shared by your contacts, that's an interesting feature. And send error reporting, so I need to change one of those, but I was filming this and more focused on the recording. What it's going to do then is finalise your settings and you get another screen which first welcomes you with a hi, and then goes through this weird menu thing. So I'm going to fast forward through it at this point just to show you what it looks like. So it sets up your applications with a like a blue flashy screen, say it's doing something, so you know it's not hanging. Uh, apparently it won't take long. I don't think it took too long in fairness. I think it only took maybe maybe five or another ten minutes uh, on top of the total installation time. Uh, and the total time was uh, about two hours. But again, no sorry, about one hour fifteen. That's right. 1 hour 15. Uh, my recording was 2 hours because I started beforehand. Um, but I'm very impressed with the uh, installation. As I said, the first one failed, but it was able to roll back completely to Windows 7. And my surprise, when it loads up Windows 10 for the first time, all my icons are in the same place and my desktop background is the same. No other Windows has really managed to do that. I mean, you can upgrade them, but it always screws it up a little bit somehow, in my experience, in my experience. So, I mean, you may have uh, other results, but uh, in my experience, it mostly screws it up. 
Uh, at this point, so Windows 10 is just installed, it's still doing something. Uh, I'm trying to move the start menu over, but I've noticed the hard drive light's going crazy. So it's still installing Windows 10 at this point. What I would recommend doing is not doing what I'm doing and having a poke at it. I'd wait uh, another 10 minutes on top of this. Just let it sort itself out. And what it's doing at this point is installing my English keyboard. Which is good. Now Windows 10, I don't think it's right to review it after a couple of hours or a couple of days usage. I think it's something that has to take a while. So although Windows 10 review would help, I don't think it's going to be useful for a little while. I mean, yes, there's the Windows 10 beta and etc, etc on top of that, but I don't think most of these reviews posted online have been particularly useful. Just emphasising that the start menu's back. Well, what else does it do? The start menu's back. What else? The start menu's back. I, n I got that. All the reviews, every review I've read has talked nothing but the start menu. But you can install whatever keyboards you want, adding features. Uh, I'm going to probably upgrade my editing PC that I'm on now to Windows 10 in the next few days. Purely because the upgrade process is no loss. If it doesn't work, then it goes back to Windows 7. And if it does work, I get Windows 10. I don't see a problem there. What I will say is this Windows 10 upgrade looks like it's mandatory from Microsoft. So you will have to do it at some point. Obviously, like with all the other operating systems. Uh, XP for a good example if you want something recent when that lost all of its support. If you're still running Windows XP, why? How vulnerable is your PC right now? Uh, but I'm going to go through some of these features, maybe in another video, uh, maybe not. As I say, I almost streamed uh, this uh, installation. If that's something you'd be interested in, I want you to know. let me know in the comments. Because uh, that'd be interesting. When YouTube's got a brand new streaming feature I'd like to try out. And yeah, I mean this is Windows 10. Thanks for watching everyone. This is the channel to subscribe to, it is mine. So if you want to subscribe, subscribe somewhere here. And I'm on all sorts of social media, so here's some links to those. Thanks for watching, everyone.